What's up, everybody? Today we're talking about... We're talking about the weight pulling harness. I know a lot of people are asking questions about the weight pulling harness. So I wanna give you guys a little bit of like a tutorial for beginners. So this is the weight pulling harness that I use for bow. Fits them really nice and snug. I will put a link in the description where you can go and grab one of these and um, start weight training today. So uh, first thing I want to point out is today is not a really hot day and it does get about 90s, maybe 100 degrees out here in Colorado during the summer. But um, come here, come on, no, no, no. So I want to make sure that we're doing these kind of exercises that are very stressful to the body and intense on a cool day such as this, okay? First, I wanna start off by weight pulling harness does cause a lot of stress on the body. So you need to get the correct size harness when you're thinking about weight pulling, okay? So it needs to fit snug on your dog and make sure that it's not very loose because if it's very loose and it's not the right size, your dog will be prone to an injury if they're pulling heavy weight. Another thing you gotta keep note of is you cannot start weight pulling with a really heavy weight. Imagine you're going to the gym for the first day and you just put, you know, 400 pounds on the squat rack. You do not want to do that to your dog, okay? So you need to start off with something simple. Maybe no weight at all and just putting on the harness and getting them used to it. So what I like to do as far as what we do for reps, in back of me is a soccer field and up and down the soccer field is one rep for us. So what I like to do is about three to five reps, depending on how much exercise I want. And so um, one thing you got to really keep in mind is, again, you're working your dog out intensely, so they're going to need some water in between reps. Now, I am not talking a full bowl of water because you don't want them to have a full stomach filled with water. They're not going to get the proper exercise and they could injure themselves, which brings up another point. When you bring your dog to the park and you want to start weight pulling, you need to be sure that your dog has not ate yet and maybe drink a minimal of water because you do not want them to get started with the full stomach. I do also want you to keep in mind when it comes to anybody working out their body, especially dogs as well, it is 80% nutrition and 20% exercise. So it's important that you have some kind of recovery plan after you're done with the exercise. Maybe that's supplements, maybe that's some protein, maybe it's a good quality meal of raw diet. Um, however you do it, you gotta help your dog recover because just like us, they get sore too, all right? And when you're first getting started, I really advise you to just walk on the leash with your dog with the weight harness on because if you just let them sprint out really far, um, first of all, that's not good ownership because you're letting your dog just go free. You don't know if there's a road there or if your dog is gonna run up on another dog. So make sure you have full control of your dog before you get started. So you wanna do just some leash walking and um, you know, just walk back and forth with the dog, okay? Then eventually what you could do is maybe you add more weight or you get them to start sprinting with the weight pull harness. And what I mean by that is obviously more weight means more weight. They're pulling more weight around the field. So if you're competing, you eventually want to start adding more weight because the goal is obviously to pull more weight and that's how you're able to succeed in those kind of competitions. Me personally, I do not do any of those competitions. I just want a really fit dog, all right? So what I do is I let him walk around with the weight pull harness. I only have a backpack. You see that backpack back there? I fill it up with stuff and I let him drag that around. It's about 10 to 15 pounds. And then eventually I would let him sprint with the backpack because obviously he's used to it.
Boy. Come on. Get one. Just gotta be careful not to get tangled up like we just did. Out. Yes. Come on. Sit. Stay. As you can see, he's very tired. He's still a little energetic, but um, one thing you gotta be careful of is with this kind of harness, it could get tangled in the back. A lot of it's my fault, but something to be careful. Ah, his spiked collar just, ah, just stabbed the hell out of me. Just be careful to not get tangled up. And if you have a weight plate at the back, like right in this area, calm down. Calm down. In this area, make sure you're not sprinting like how we were because I just have a simple backpack, okay? You wanna take it easy and let them walk first and um, just do some simple little exercises like that. It doesn't take much, it doesn't take a lot of weight. Look at him, he's tired. I'm gonna go give him some water right now. But um, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel. We're all about the bull breeds killing the bad stereotypes and becoming better owners. I will see you guys on the next video. I'm out.